Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Patreon.com slash Real Macro, Patreon.com slash BKC. All right, so what is going on? It's been a while since we talked. Well, um, what you know, where's my shift bots? <laughs> Where are you when I need you? <laughs> you fuckers, <laughs> come back. <laughs> Uh, poor Schiff. You know, is it? It's always like that. It's always, uh, at, at least in my you know lifetime, <laughs> when people are telling you, oh, you know, stocks are garbage. Buy real estate. God is not making any more land, Nick. You gotta buy real estate. It's brick and mortar. It's real things. It's not like the artificial stocks. You gotta buy. You gotta buy brick and mortar and real estate. God is not making any more land, right? Remember that back in 2008. What happened? <laughs> they all blew up. Gold, buy gold, buy gold. Gold is real money. But gold, gold. What happened? Right? They all got blown up. Bitcoin, Bitcoin gotta buy bitcoin it's the future right what happened to them they all got blown up peak oil peak oil (laughs) Uh, you nick you don't understand you gotta put in two barrels of oil to extract one barrel of oil that doesn't work the mathematics don't work right and where are we now now we're in the mmt world (laughs) <laughs> Everything has completely reversed. Now, what are you talking about, Nick? MMT is the way of the future. It's the way it works. We can just print and it's our savings. <laughs> Buy stocks. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. And it, it blows my mind. <laughs> it blows my mind, you know. It's not a, it's not a deficit. It's a debit. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> People are going to be people, man. They're going to, you know, if, look, if logic worked, we wouldn't need science, right? But since logic doesn't work, we do need science. <laughs> so, um, I wish I could, uh, I could have my shift bots back, you know, because we're going to have some fun now. All right. So, let's look at the first chart, SPX and uh, divided by gold, right? Stocks compared to gold, priced in gold, right? Remember that? Chef used to say that all the time. Well, if you price uh, the Dow to gold, <laughs> poor guy. Anyway, um, actually, the S&P 500 is underperforming uh, gold, <laughs> okay, uh, according to this chart. So that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. Um and it makes sense. It makes sense because the money supply has uh, increased dramatically, right? Uh, look at the uh, M2 money supply. It's literally vertical, literally vertical, okay? If you take a look at the um, the money supply growth, okay, out of 195 nations in the world, the U.S. is ranked number 11, right? Well, you don't understand, Nick. Well, the world reserve currency, yeah, okay. And Turkey was the 19th large is the 19th largest economy in the world, and if you look at the Turkish lira, they're getting crushed. Okay, again, I'm not the type of person that's going to put barriers that you know in, in my head that well this can never happen. I I don't think like that. I've never thought like that. I don't want to think like that. What um what uh, anything is possible as far as I'm concerned, anything. Okay, and that's why I call MMT an incubator economists their incubator it works great on inside of an incubator but in reality it's completely different and i think we've proven that now right we've proven it in the sense that we've printed four trillion dollars in four months we're going to print another trillion at some point here near near future uh we qe qe'd all the way up to seven trillion dollars right we were down as low as 3.8 we've done that all in four months and we have record uh, unemployment not record uh, depression level uh, unemployment record debt public debt um, private debt uh, has been expanded you know with this facility from the fed and that facility from the fed and you know 
everybody here's money for everybody right don't worry about it take it and we'll forgive it later just just take the damn thing right and everybody's talking about v-shaped recoveries v-shaped it's just v-shaped recovery so the market is a forward-looking indicator it's a v-shaped recovery really well our gdp right now is all the way back in real terms is all the way back to 2014. it's as if we never um increase the productivity of the economy the gdp above and beyond 2014. so if you're looking at a chart of the s p 500 and you're saying oh my god you know look s p is underperforming gold well yeah it makes a lot of sense doesn't it if you're going to increase the money supply by that much and you're not going to get that economic growth that wealth in the economy you're just going to backstop risk for the top five percent right you'll give some helicopter money to the peasants right and you think you're going to increase the economic growth you're not sure there are some indicators uh, that are more more or less isolators is what they are uh, they're just saying oh look you know pmi is growing and uh, this you know it's a snapback right of course you're going to when you have pent up demand you're going to get that snapback but that snapback doesn't necessarily mean it's a v-shaped recovery remember we're back to 2014. we are recovering from 2014 right now so you think we're going to go back to 3.4 percent unemployment anytime soon that we're going to have a gdp all the way back up to 20 trillion right and even if we do even if we do the money supply has gone from 21 trillion all the way up to 27 trillion it's 26 something but just about that and when the next next package comes out it's going to go up to 28 trillion and then 29 and 30. so does mmt work no i'm actually surprised that bitcoin and gold silver and base metals are not you know screaming much much higher with all the money uh that has been printed so anyway um keep this in mind all right keep this in mind we're not out of the woods flu season is coming testing is falling now right we were at 800,000 now we're down to 6 point or 650,000 uh, I'm not gonna go down the conspiracy th route right Trump said you know slow down the testing please right as well <laughs> he's getting his wish um, there's a lot of a lot of problems uh in the economy there's a lot of marketing that is going on right now uh trying to convince you to go out and buy stocks and you know it's very compelling when you're seeing that stock market go up every single day for months now every single day it's going up every single day right and you're sitting there thinking like well i gotta be making money i have to be involved in this no you don't no you don't okay just like you didn't need to be involved in real estate uh, back in 2008 and peak oil and gold uh, and Bitcoin at, at, at all-time highs this is a bubble okay it's a bubble um, it never feels like it's a bubble because you know it always everything just makes sense for some reason right because the price is going up and everybody bases their vague hunches and feelings on price and not necessarily on what's really going on and believe me let's say the stock market never goes down again it never goes down it just stays from here and it keeps going up even then the stock market is not going to go up in the same manner that it's going up right now okay that fear of missing out uh, is a good indication that you should not be uh, uh, involved long term in the stock market because you don't know if tomorrow something happens and it snaps and all this liquidity that everybody's like oh, what do you mean liquidity is driving up the market no it's a forward-looking indicator oh huh. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a monetary expert i am this i am a, you know all the, the, these people that have like you know tens of thousands of followers on, on, on twitter and you know all these people that they, they never saw COVID 19 coming they never understood the social economic impact that COVID 19 would have in the world economy they never saw it they never talked about it but yet now that the stock market is going up every single day 
They're experts at it. Well, I disagree with them. I'm, I think they're 100% wrong. And again, even if the stock market is to go much, much higher, you know what? You know when you make money? When things are boring, right? That's when, that's when you make money. And if you just, you know, your hair is on fire and you're running around, this is where you make money. You don't make money here. This is where you lose money. This is where you make it. So if we are to go into another long-term bull run, right, well, it's going to get real boring, okay? Things are going to stabilize. Things are going to be back to semi-normal. They're not going to be the way they are today, where they're telling you exact dates of when the vaccine is going to come out. They're telling you how everything is going back to normal. It doesn't work like that. So be really careful out there, okay? Be careful. I'm telling you, just, you know, think about what you're doing, right? Think about this, the long-term boring, going up and down, no, 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 no. And forget about this, trying to make money in this, right? Don't feel like you missed out. You know, how many people went out and bought um, real estate thinking that, oh, I missed out, I'm going to go make money now, and I'm going to become a real estate developer and got their uh, asses handed to them, right? So don't be that guy or gal, please. Be smart. All right. I'll be making more videos uh, now. Uh, I'm unemployed. <laughs> no pilots are flying, you know, and the ones that are, they, you know, <laughs> there's very few of them. Um, it's not going to change anytime soon. Okay. Uh, I hope the vaccine works out as advertised, and you know, that'll be great. I can go back to work flying. I miss it, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, just as a little gentle reminder uh, russia's coming out with a vaccine next week and you know the world's going to be saved maybe it will maybe it won't but let me remind you that china also did a vaccination to their troops a few months back and then you never heard anything about it do you know why because it didn't work so you know i'm not being a fucking debbie downer here but <laughs> you know don't listen to the marketing all right, don't listen to the marketing. Be smart. All right, take care. Patreon.com slash Real Macro. Come down, join. Bye-bye.